Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I'm here today to talk to you guys about feeling failure. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Hello, I'm just inserting this clip to say that um, I come off extremely privileged in this video and I know it. I even say it a few minutes in, um, but I kind of just wanted to get my feelings out of the way, kind of have like some, like a little mini therapy session. Um, and if you feel the way I feel in this video, if you're in a life slump, reading slump, creative slump, let me know because I'm sure a lot of us have been feeling this way. And so this is just a video to complain. So as of right now, it is May 20th. And if you know me in like my personal life, I don't know, like, outside of the content that I post, I do talk about the content that I want to post with those people pretty frequently, especially if I have a really exciting idea. Backtracking a little bit, um, if you've been watching my videos for probably since March, you would know that I have been experiencing a bit of a reading slump. So everything that I'm reading isn't giving me the joy that I need to continue reading, or I'm just not prioritizing it. First of all, I do want to say that I understand that I read more than your average person. I'm not saying this to brag. We all read at the pace that we want to. Faster or slower is not important in life. However, I do like to read. It is a pastime of mine. So I feel like because I am in a reading slump, I thus feel like I'm in a life slump. And when I'm in a life slump, I don't want to make videos anymore. And thus, this was the problem I had for this month. I had a really exciting idea to read like Keanu Reeves. Oh wait, do I want to know what this is? I don't know. I don't know if you do, but <laughs> let's hear this it. way. But the thing with Keanu Reeves is that he is a very smart and intelligent man. Therefore, the books that he picks up are also incredibly smart and intelligent and right now that is not for me so the reason i'm bringing this up is because this month i wanted to read the count of monte cristo and honestly listen i did read quite a chunk like i read pretty much half of the book i'm at page 618 and i started to feel this downward shift of my enjoyment of The Count of Monte Cristo. In the beginning of the month, I was really enjoying it because I really appreciated how easy the book was to read. I was listening to it on audio, but I feel like the language that is used is much more engaging than other classic books that I've read. Case in point, The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This is my first Russian classic, and I don't know if it was a smart idea to read this at the same time as this one. And because Keanu Reeves enjoys these classic books or um, more philosophical, intellectual reads, I would say, I was struggling. There are books that I have on my TBR this month that I would much rather get to. And now that it's May 20th, I'm really feeling stuck and like I'm not enjoying what I'm reading because I am prioritizing books that require more brain cells over other books that I really want to read. The first example is I really want to continue reading Brandon Sanderson this year. Every month I have been putting one on my TBR. However, this series I wanted to try reading all of them on audio and the first of which was The Alloy of Law. I think that was in my April wrap-up and it turns out that I really enjoyed the audiobook for it so I wanted to continue the audiobook for this one. However, because I was listening to this one on audio, it was taking up a lot of my time and I couldn't get to this one. I don't have a lot of audiobook time, so I was prioritizing a book I didn't really want to get to for a vlog I was excited for over a book I would really like to get to. In addition to that, I was slugging my way through this one. I don't even think I got far. Yeah, I got about 200 pages into it that I was not enjoying or not that I wasn't enjoying because I did like the main character in this one, but the language and the overall concepts were just not vibing with me at the moment. This month, I really wanted to get to the house at the Cerulean Sea. I really do predict this to be a five-star read where I just know that this wouldn't be based on the amount of effort I feel like I'm putting in for the lack of reward that I'm getting, but this one I feel like I'll absolutely adore. Same for Rule of Wolves. This is one of my most anticipated releases for this year. It is the final book in the Grishaverse saga, I think. So I really want to see how it ends. A lot of people have either loved it or hated it, so I'm super excited to see the end of this. I know that Lee Bardugo and I do get along in terms of writing, and even though this is a chunker, I would have flown through it. But again, this one was just taking up so much of my time. And then the other day, Heartstopper Volume 4 came in the mail, and I just really want to put everything aside 
to read this but then i feel bad because i have these two that i still want to read and i know that this is coming off extremely privileged and i'm complaining about something so trivial i know i understand just a little insert here that i get it then in addition to all of this i feel terrible when i make vlogs the reason for this i'll insert a clip from i think 2019 where i consciously made an effort to want to post more videos and to post vlogs no matter what because i was feeling like my life was boring and I should just post things because I don't know how other people are feeling. My vlogs aren't always interesting and so like filming them and putting them together I always think of a reason not to post them. So I've had like so many vlogs like reading vlogs that I filmed. I put them on my computer. I like film scenery shots and stuff like that and I just don't post them because they don't make me proud i don't feel like people want to watch like my boring ass life so that's another problem probably with me only so that was 2019 kelsey who didn't know what was going to happen in 2020 and if she thought her life was boring before honey 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 you've got a big storm coming i think my feelings towards vlogging still feel the same. I don't feel like I have this aesthetically pleasing eye that some people's vlogs tend to have. I constantly, constantly forget to film b-roll footage. If you see in some of the vlogs that I have posted, I do tend to forget them and I even tell myself in the video to do it and I forget. So often that discourages me because I feel like my vlogs aren't aesthetically pleasing or fun to watch. Listen, there's a lot of anxiety thoughts going through this mind. So yeah, I don't know what the point of this video is. I think it's more to speak on the fact that I think a lot of creators are feeling this slump. I know a lot of creators are feeling reading slumps lately. And so in general, I think we're all feeling this like life slump situation. So I just wanted to word vomit my thoughts out, get them out there in case anyone relates to it. Maybe we can read some fun graphic novels together. I don't know. I don't have much else to say. Just wanted to update you guys on what has been going on. I have put both of these books as a pausing shelf on Goodreads. I got this idea from Tammy over at Tammy Tries to Read. I will link her channel down below and she often DNFs books and if she isn't quite sure if she wants to DNF them, she puts them on an on pause shelf. I took that idea for these because it's not as though I don't want to read these books and it's not as though I don't want to film that vlog. I think it's still important for me to film that vlog because I am really excited. I love Keanu Reeves. He is my favorite, one of my favorite actors. So I do want to do that video. It's just not the time right now. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Obviously it helps out my channel a lot, but it also really encourages me and makes me feel like people are listening to me. You can also find links down below to my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads. I think that's all I have down there, but that's it. I don't know how to end these things, so I guess I will see you next time. Bye!